Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Parisno 0.73. I know I'm saying welcome back, but yeah, it really is just a continuation of 0.71, but they have made some significant improvements, and we will be checking those out in the initial character creation, because of course, they did add a very lucrative, or shall we just say a very magnificent addition to the character creation. So, without further ado, let us play Perizono. And what I will be doing, I'm going to outline the structure of this episode right now, just so that you know, full disclosure right here. We're going to be creating a character, heading in just to see, make sure that everything's okay, like in terms of the actual merchant quest, the bandit that attacks us at the beginning and everything. And then I will cut away and I'll try to find... Dehosen, because that is what we did beforehand. I'll try to recruit him, try to re recruit a couple of units, and do a couple of tasks for the lords, and then I will cut back after that is done, and we will continue where we left off previously. At least I hope that will be the case. So, welcome, adventurer, to Barisno, and you have been chosen to rise to greatness to find your destiny. Enter, warrior, the world of Barisno, where you might never return. And we're going to disable Fog of War. We will be a male, and we'll be a dwarven male. I was actually really tempted to play as an elven male this time, because we hadn't previously chosen that, and it might be quite fun. Maybe we'll do that? I don't know, but I think the dwarf is quite fun. And yes, I selected Iron Fist before, I think. Did I not? I have no idea, but we're going to do that. Then we'll do Street Urchin, and I think we'll also then do Smith and personal revenge. This is where it gets different. What is the last inheritance you chose to take with you as you start your legendary quest? The strange two-handed sword of my father? The great bow of my father? The great repeating crossbow? The great lance? A light warhorse and medium armor? The hidden treasure of my family? The great armor of my ancestors and a mount I can ride. The secret physical training of my lineage increases iron flesh and athletics. And the elephant of my father and the ability to ride it. Or the secret medical techniques and hospitals knowledge of my lineage. So yeah, there's a huge amount of different things right there. So I actually have no idea what we're going to be going for. I would obviously know immediately if we were going to be playing as an elf, because we'd take the great bow, wouldn't we? So, yeah, that is what we'd go for. I'm actually wondering, should I go for the great armor and a mount I can ride? Because if we go for the great armor, that would mean that we take literally no damage, but if we take the strange two-handed sword, I've actually already taken this two-handed sword on a test character, and I thought to myself, Wow, this looks pretty cool, because it's actually a burning sword. It's a flaming sword of immense power. And I thought to myself, should I take this, or should I take the great armor? Because if I take the great armor, I'm less likely to die, but the two-handed sword would make us incredibly offensive, and not in a rude way, but we would be quite powerful in terms of our offensive capabilities, but... Hmm... I also thought of taking the secret physical training as well, but as you can see, there are so many different options that I am having a very difficult time indeed. I think the most fun option would be to take the strange two-handed sword, because who wouldn't? I mean, that's just insanely good. But the lesser fun option, but still pretty amazing, would be to take the great armor and a mount we can ride. I think we're going to do this, because... If you recall, Scout was previously able to acquire a very good flaming sword from Arakanas himself, but do bear in mind that Arakanas' sword is unique to him, and usually I'd like to leave it on, on him, but yeah, I don't really know at the moment. The elephant of my father... The elephant would be pretty fun as well, but... I don't know. Let's go for the great armor. There we are. Become an adventurer and ride to your destiny. Ah, here we go. We have a banner already. Okay, I was not expecting that, actually. Okay, well, I did actually choose this one before on my test character. I'm not entirely sure whether I should at this point. Ooh, this looks actually pretty cool. Hmm, there's actually some really nice ones right here. I'm going to go for this one, actually. Let's do it. There we are. Thank you very much. So, as you can see, we get dwarf scale mail, dwarven decorated shield, dwarf iron face helm, and an armored rhino. 
What? An armored rhino? Whoa, okay, that was a good choice, I do believe. That was a very nice choice. So let's go for 18 in strength, and we'll go for 9 in agility, and 10 in intelligence, just to get us a little bit more in that. Now, we'll get some prisoner management, because I do believe prisoners are going to be quite important as we go. And we'll level up our iron flesh a little bit, power strike. Hmm. I'm actually thinking, you know, maybe I should just spec into 21 strength and get 7 in power strike, 7 in iron flesh. That would make us a complete beast. But I think we do need pathfinding. Two in tactics skill. And what else? Hmm. Okay. I think we might go for one in surgery, but what if we come across Kara or something? She is a medic after all. So, yeah, we're going to go for one more in Iron Flesh, and that will be that. Oh, we don't have any shield. Oh, that would be a good idea. Let's do that. Okay. So, yeah, we want to increase our shield, don't we? That would be a nice idea, I do believe. So, let's go with that. A little bit in that. Okay, so we need pathfinding as well. There we go. Okay, that's much better. So, Scout Striker Wilkins is alive once again. No, that's wrong. Scout Strikers. No, it's Scout Striker. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness. Okay, so as you can see, we have one-handed weapon proficiency and a little bit of throwing skill, but never going to do that. Not not again. Not again. No. Okay, so let us randomize. Ooh. Aha. Okay, let's try and find a good one. Hmm. Ooh, yeah. There we go. There we go. That's nice. I like it. I like it. Let's make him a little bit older. It's been a while since we've done some Parisno right here, and we'll make him a little bit darker. There we go. Okay, so where are we going to be heading to? Well, we want to head over to the Realm of the Falcon immediately. So I do believe we are going to be starting in the Hakon Empire. That is the closest, I do believe. Let's do that. So here we go. This is our first battle as the new Scout Striker Wilkins in 0 0.73. Now, I have some really good armor on. Oh, my goodness. This armor is insanely good, I do believe. And I can't wait to see our... Whoa, look at that. I can't wait to see our Rhino as well. That's going to be a really cool thing indeed. So, yes, it does appear as though the initial start quest is the same. So, I will be, well, collecting 10 peasants, I suppose. But, yes, we have some deserters there as well. Let's be very cautious, shall we? Now, wait a minute. We have never gone over here to the Kaikoth Confederation. Do we want to go over there, or do we want to go over to Realm of the Falcon? I am actually unsure about that. But, nevertheless, I will be cutting away, and I'll try to find Dahosan, and I will also try to get a pretty reasonable army. Okay, so I entered into the tavern at Amana. This is literally two minutes after I cut away previously, and I decided to explore and speak to this adventurer guildsman. Now, as you can see, I've just asked him a question. Do you give out quests, and do we do things in the land for various gains? Now, as you can see, although we occasionally send mercenaries to help as well, it is a very fair system, I think. Pay us to help you, and we will pay mercenaries or our guildsmen to go help. That way everyone ends up happy. Are you looking for any tasks to complete? I'm a mercenary in these lands. I indeed would like to get some tasks. I was hoping you would ask. I don't know how capable you are, but since you are new, I will give you an easier job. Recently, we were contacted by an anonymous village elder who told us that a group of rebel peasants, around 10 or 20, have rioted and escaped from the village. They are now fugitives, and are told to be around this town. We want you to hunt these peasants down and defeat them. Then take their money that they stole from the village elder and give it to us so we can return it. Let's do it! Why not? Thank you very much, yeah. So I was actually looking for Dehosen in the tavern here, and I found some gladiators, which I am actually thinking of recruiting. I know. It's a little bit too expensive, I gotta say, but I'm actually thinking of it because... Can't we make money fast? We have 5,300 starting off, which is really nice, but should we? 3,800 for seven of them. Let's do it. Let's throw caution to the wind. We need a little bit of help with the peasant rebels, do we? Do we need help with the peasant rebels? I don't actually think we do, but nevertheless, we have some now. What? All right. 
This is the mount that we started with. They don't actually tell you that the mount is going to be magnificent in the description in the character creation. They just say, oh yes, some magnificent armor, and oh yes, you get a mount. But <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. Yes, I was not expecting anything as large as this, that's for sure. Whoa. Right. That's pretty impressive, I gotta say. That is pretty impressive. So, I really wish I had a two-handed lance or something long now, so that I could actually... Oh! Oh! What? Okay, so, yeah, look at this. Okay, I'm just taking my hand completely off the mouse, apart from to steer the camera a little bit. But... <laughs> wow. This is fun. Okay, I gotta say, if none of you have played Perisno before, then you need to download it almost immediately right now. And select this mount. That's all I can say. That is fun. That is super fun right there. It does so much charge damage. Goodness me. Please ignore my phone, by the way. Goodness me. Okay, so peasant rebels. Let's take them as prisoners, I guess. Oh, my. Okay, we need to try and get as much money as we can to reimburse the various gladiators that we just recruited. But goodness me. You now have the money. Return to the Adventurer's Guildsman. Let's do that. I'm actually really liking the new setup as well. There we go. Hello. I have defeated the rebel peasants and taken back the money. Good work. Now hand me the money and we will split it half and half. I will be leaving this town shortly now that my work is done. You will find my colleagues throughout taverns in Perisno giving you quests. Although not every one of them will be as easy as this one. Aha. Well, there it is. Wow, that's actually a really nice start to 0 0.73, I gotta say. I like that. I like it a lot. So, before we head on, we want to buy some cheap fruit and sell everything else we have in our inventory here. I was actually thinking of changing our Rusty Dwarven Pickaxe to the Balanced Sword, because that does have a bigger reach, but do we need a bigger reach when we have this? As you can see, it has 51 charge. Yes, it does. 51 charge. This is our armor, by the way, as well. We have some really impressive armor, although our boots aren't too good, so we do need to find some new boots. We'll try and find some of those, but yeah, I don't know whether we really need to even worry about it, to be honest, because right now we are unstoppable, I'd say. We have gladiators, we have a rhino mount. It's all good. Everything's going absolutely swimmingly. Which is really strange. <laughs> For me. Okay, so cheap bread, cheap bread, and there we go. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm actually thinking, should I ask the guild master for a task? Do you have a job? This, oh no. Our merchants are afraid. Uh-huh. Our caravans get raided. There have been attempts to reconcile the two sides. Oh no. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to be doing this, unfortunately enough. I do not have enough persuasion skill, or at least I feel as though you need persuasion skill to be able to do this. This is not my problem. Sorry, I cannot do this. Yeah, I am very sorry. I will not be able to do that. Not right yet. I would like to get some persuasion skill eventually, but right now I have zero, so... Or do I? Yes, I have absolutely zero, so that is, yeah, completely fine. So, without further ado, I'm actually going to be heading off to the Kaikoth Confederation, because I would like to see what kind of units they have to offer us. Okay, so, yes, we have come across what looks to be the Dwarven faction in the game now, and I'm actually thinking we should probably join them instead of joining the Realm of the Falcon. I know that... A lot of you wanted us to join the Realm of the Falcon, but if you play it yourselves, then you can, of course, join them. But I'm thinking we'll probably just go with the Dwarves right now, because we are a Dwarf. If I was an Elf, then I might decide to go with the Realm of the Falcon instead, because obviously Elves and Dwarves don't necessarily get on too much. But goodness me, look at this. Okay, so we have a task. We're going to be collecting the taxes, which is really not what I like to do, that's for sure, because that does reduce the amounts of relations. Oh! We actually have some... Wait a minute. Whoa. Okay. Need to be a bit cautious about those guys, but hopefully I'm a little bit too fast for them. Yes, it appears I am. 
So, can I actually... Wait a minute. Can I actually collect the taxes without them attacking me? Whoa, there's actually some really difficult units in this area. Okay, it appears I'll probably need to pick up a couple more units before I am able to fully take on these fellows. So, I will see you soon. Okay, so I've just come to the actual town of this territory, and we've come across some Gladiatrix champions. Now, as you can probably see, look at the faces. I do not know how they're able to do that, but look at the faces. Really very detailed. I like that a lot. They've obviously done some very good work with the models here, but goodness me, that is actually really cool, and i got to say that... A huge improvement over the base game right there. So, yeah, I am actually really worried about this. I'm not going to take them, unfortunately, because it's going to be way too much money. We also have a companion here, which is looking mighty fine right here. I mean, look at the gear that she has on. She's just, yeah, really insane right there. But unfortunately, we'll not be able to recruit anyone. But, as you see, we do now have 32 units. So I'm hopeful we might be able to take these guys on. Oh my goodness, they do actually appear to be quite difficult. Maybe not. Or maybe we can speak to King Bergnar about something. Maybe I can... Uh, I'd like to challenge you to a friendly duel, no. What would it take to cement a lasting... <laughs> oh yes, okay, of course. But yes, anyway, what we're going to be doing is heading over to Butcher's Pit. And I will attempt to loot it for its taxes and wow these guys are going to attack me aren't they hmm okay I'll tell you what I'm gonna fight some bandits okay so I've come across a couple of bandits as I was recruiting more units I had to wait here for about a day or two just to make sure that our villages would refresh their recruitment drives and yeah unfortunately there's only 11 but yeah I suppose it's a means to an end we are going to be leveling up a lot of our units right here and I think I'm actually just gonna tell everyone to charge in because if my rhino does not kill all of these guys in one charge then yeah, as you can probably see. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. I can probably go through the entire game without using my weapon. Don't change it, though. If the developers are watching this, don't change it. This is my favorite thing right now. <laughs> it's not too powerful. It's balanced. It's perfectly fine. Yes, I love it. <laughs> I can imagine, though... Just to err on the side of caution right here, I can imagine that what will happen is if we're fighting against units that are also on horseback or also on rhinos, I'm not entirely sure whether anyone else has rhinos, but I'm pretty sure they should. And yeah, if they do, then of course then we're going to have difficulties. But we, oh, we just get a glory-seeking man right there, but we also get a couple more prisoners as well. There we go. Still have not found a ransom broker, but I can then loot a couple more things. And we are going to be heading off to Desuk Slava territory once again. And we're going to be attempting to level up our Kaikoth miners. Yes, okay, we'll do that. So, bandits once again, I do believe. Okay, so just a minute after I had cut away previously, we see this, and this is a real-time event that we came across last time when we first started our 0.71 playthrough, I do believe. You're traveling and passing by a battlefield as you see a plunderer carefully picking through the corpses of honorable men. The man looks up and sees you approach. He looks frightened, but understands that he couldn't escape anyway, so he just stands there, trembling and awaiting his fate. And I think we're probably just going to continue onward, are we not? Because last time we killed him, which is pretty bad, I gotta say. We killed him, but we did gain some money, but we lost a lot of reputation and various honor. So that was not great, I gotta say. And... Hmm. Well, I mean, if he... Yeah, let's just continue onward. Oh, we didn't actually get anything. Oh, okay. So maybe I should pick the next option the next time we get that. Hopefully we'll get that soon, so without further ado, I will see you soon once again. Okay, so eventually in Draharan slash 
Hakon Empire territory, we were able to find some Sandwalkers. I do believe that's what we fought previously when we were leveling up our units to prepare for the Dezug Slavers. So, as you can see here, they have 19, but they do have a couple of prisoners, which we will hopefully be able to rescue. And then we'll see where that goes. But I really just want to get our units leveled up. So, I'm actually going to just charge everyone in. And if people die, then so be it. They will have done their duty in advancing... Oh... Wait a minute, I actually have a cavalry. Yes. Let's leave him back here while everyone else goes in. Okay, so I have my shield up, but I don't know whether I can even be hurt in this. So, <laughs> let's just try and take these guys out. Oh my goodness. The damage! The damage is insane. Look at that! Oh my goodness. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I just want to get our Kaikoth miners over here. Yep, yeah, come on. Ah, there we go. Spear stopped us. Okay, so spears can still stop us. Good to know. Good to know. We just need to make sure that we are running at full speed, as you can see. Look at that. Full speed takes them out instantly. Very nice indeed. Take him down. And there we go. Our Kaikoth miners actually got a huge amount of kills right there. i got to say that it appears as though the Dwarven units are very powerful, or at least I hope they will be very powerful in the end, but okay, we're going to be releasing the peasant rebels, I know, very strange indeed, but we're going to be taking these sand walkers, and I will lose one robber to take the other sand stalker as well, and we also get a bounty hunter, 79 wages, that is insane, and we get some, oh, oh no, okay, this is also pretty bad for our wages situation as you can see, but I think we'll be okay. As long as we can take on some Dazook Slavers right now, we really need to get to them. So I'm hopeful that I'll come across some of them. I do know that I saw some over in this direction right here, and I ran away from them. Thankfully enough, I was a little bit too fast for them because they had a large army, but you never know. Ha! This might be them. Am I faster than them? Yeah, I am faster than them. Great. Okay, phew. That was actually really close. Okay, so before we head in, we want to... <gasps> 36! 36 clansmen! Let's do it. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. Look at that. They've already advanced quite considerably. Let's take a look at their stats. They're only level 7 and still they've got some pretty solid stat lines right there. And we can take a look at their equipment too. They've actually got almost as good equipment as we have. They have a better sword and a better axe than we do. And they are using the same kind of shield. <laughs> which is rather impressive to say the least okay thank you very much and scout striker wilkins has advanced in level so we are going to be leveling him up before we go anywhere else and i do believe what are we going to do uh, this is a difficult choice i think we probably want to go for 12 in intelligence so that we can get more pathfinding so we can move even faster let's get another point in tactics so that we're a little bit better when it comes to battle advantage and then of course we will also hmm. iron flesh and engineer i think is probably going to be the way to go because i feel as though in no time we are going to be able to siege something and that would be rather impressive so uh, let us well they got some dezook slave girls now okay well let's go in i have a bad feeling about this <laughs> but we'll see we'll see we might be able to do it we might be able to do it so um, yeah we have sheriffs and we have a couple of cavalry units and our gladiators are here and we have some clansmen which is very very nice i'm pretty sure they'll be pretty good oh they are charging our other cavalry oh no ah this is gonna be very difficult oh no me fighting with a rhino on horseback is very difficult indeed maybe i should focus on the infantry units let's do it okay they don't have spears i don't believe so i can just charge them let's do it yes We need to make sure that we don't get killed either. There we are. Okay, so far, we're losing units to the enforcers, so I'm hopeful... <gasps> I can actually deal damage to mounts? 
Oh, that's so good. Oh, wow, that's really good. Wow, they thought of everything, didn't they? Wow, that was really, really good. Okay, I like that a lot. So, the Rhino can actually deal damage to other mounts. Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? It does make sense. I just didn't think that that would be... No! My amazing mount. Ah, uh, well, it didn't get crippled or anything, so I think we should be okay. I'm a little bit worried, though. Gotta say. <laughs> yes, more than a little bit worried, but I have faith uh, that our Kaikoth clansmen and gladiators will be able to pull off a rather decisive victory. Oh my, they do have a lot of slaves, don't they? Maybe we should just retreat right here and cut our losses, but I have a feeling that if I was alive and back on my mount, I would be able to help quite considerably here. So I'm going to retreat. We lose a little bit of morale, but we then gain back all of that morale. See, as you can see, it's actually quite even. 22 versus 30, but we can't head in there again because we have no first aid. So we're going to have to head on out of there, which is really unfortunate. But we needed to, didn't we? We really did need to, which is unfortunate. We can return at a later point and take on the weakened state of that army. But as it stands, I'm going to be ending this episode off here, and next time on Perizno 0.73, we are going to be taking on those Desuk Slavers and leveling up our clansmen. Oh, they actually did already level up, so let's get ten of these. Hmm. Let's get twelve of those, I think, and seven of the crossbowmen. And then we'll get some more clansmen, and Scout himself leveled up as well. So let's level up his agility, make him move a little bit faster, and we also want to get more riding skill eventually, so that would be nice too. And I think we're probably going to go for more Iron Flesh, I guess? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. But there it is. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.